Hey, Fight fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps, and I am joined now with the one and only Savannah Marshall. Savannah, when is the last time we did an interview? It must have been when well, you were with Mayweather Promotions. Yeah, when yeah. yes. I just signed and they yes. just announced it. That's when it was, yeah. Wild, wild. Ago. A long time ago. Um, first of all, how are you? We just wrapped up the press conference. Um, really funny one, though. What, 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 what's the whole keep it together thing? She unravels. She can't control herself. Um, and yet you can quite visibly see, even if she says she's not getting angry, her body language, her demeanor says otherwise. You know what I mean? She can't, she can't get a grip of it, can she? Do you feel that you got under her skin? Because you're so, she's, she's more of an emotional uh, person and more expressive. But when you're calm and composed, it can kind of irritate somebody when they kind of are wanting to kind of pull the same out of you. That's what I'm saying. This is why she, everything she threw at me, this is why she, she even started on Peter. Do you know what I mean? She's looking for a reaction, but she, she just doesn't, she doesn't bother me. I'm not interested in what she's got to say or, or what she does. Um, and it, it's, it's, you can see she contradicts herself constantly. She says, do you know, the amateur win didn't matter, but then the next thing she says, amateurs is everything, and I've done this and I've done that. Like, I would, just get your story straight, what's going on? Okay, so I know you've probably been asked this quite some, a few times over, but now that the press conference is done, now that everything's moving forward, last time you guys sort of had the, the limbo of what was going on with the Queen and whether or not she was, if, um, with her passing, if it was going to stop the fight, we now know it's proceeding. Have, have the nerves set in? Is it excitement? What is? What are you feeling right now? Because it's such a big opportunity for you to become undisputed at middleweight on Saturday night. I'm at that point now where I just keep thinking, I just want to get in there and smash her head in. That is what is going through my mind. Last fight camp, last fight week, it, it, you know, it was coming, but now it's just, I just want to get in there. But this is like twice we've done this now. There's no left left to say. Yeah. I just want to fight. Yeah. Just over it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel you. Um, do you feel as though on the night, win or loss? Because I don't know why this is sort of swirling around. But why is retirement sort of next to your name right now? Where did that come from? I think that's from her. Everything that comes back from her. I think a couple of years ago, I was asked, like, what would I do after I boxed Clarissa? And I was like, well, look, there'd be nothing left for me to do because I'm under no illusion. This is the biggest fight of my yeah. life. Yeah. Um, get past Clarissa on Saturday. Nothing is ever going to top this. I'm never going to get paid like this. And it'll be the same for her in boxing. This is the biggest fight out there for her. She's never going to top this. The, the magnitude of it. The, I'd even quite happily say the payday it's never going to get bigger and it was the same for me so then it's a bit like well am I ever going to top that night again but look um, we'll just have to wait and see mm -hmm. I have to ask you something and if you'd like me to edit this part out I will but Sky Sports just released a two minute clip that wasn't released prior uh, as I guess never before seen footage and it seemed as though you had mentioned that there may have been some personal history there between you and Clarissa. Is that the case? What, when we... Yeah, we've already boxed. Is that what you're on about? No. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. Like... Oh, like, when, we'd met in, when we'd met before. We've met a couple of times. We're met in that, like... I don't know what you mean. <laughs> have, we, have we spoken about outside of this? Okay. Um, so maybe it's not then. I don't know. Okay. It's not... There was no, at one point, dating between you two. Me and Clarissa? Yeah. No. Okay, can, I show, can I show can I show you something mean? after? What the what the captions read oh, on your guys' clip? It's in the, the it's all in the comments. Was this off the gloves are off? Yeah. Oh no, yeah you'll have to show them. Okay. <laughs> Bloody hell. We're lifelong rivals. Right? So do you know what you've gone about? I swear to God I'm gonna show it to you because I thought I was tripping and then when I when the captions were on it read the same thing that I thought I heard. Okay. Yeah, left to show me. <laughs> I thought you meant, have you like met up outside of this? I was like, yeah, we met up in the Mayweather gym. <laughs> we had a conversation. No, because there's a lot of oh. comments under it. Oh, no, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. okay. At least so we clarified. Some story. No, I didn't know what you were going on about there. That's what I meant, because I was like, did she? No. It, okay, I'll show uh -huh. it to you. 
Yeah, okay. All right, well, we clarified that. Thank you so much for your time. I know you're over this. You just want to get back and get to training and finish everything off on Saturday night. Um, any final words that you'd like to say, if it's the fans or Clarissa or whomever? I just want to say thank you to everyone who bought a ticket, everyone who who's held on after the last pushback. Um, I'm really grateful, and I can't wait for Saturday. Okay. All right, thank you. Bye-bye, yeah. fans. Hey, Fi fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking this icon right here and hit the bell button below so that you can receive an alert every time we upload a new video.